Now guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I will be talking about Mistral Patchouli from Atelier Cologne, a woody aromatic that just came out this year, 2013. Notes, we have grapefruit, black pepper, star anise, iris, incense, geranium, fraction of patchouli from Indonesia, benzoin, and vetiver. And over at base notes, this one got four out of five stars. So, uh, for starters, let me just say that, like others have mentioned before me, this really isn't about the patchouli. Um, they call it Mistral Patchouli, I think because it gives it a nice, you know, fancy name. Um, they probably should have called it Mistral Star Anise or Mistral Geranium, but that doesn't sound too sweet. So, I think uh, they just did that for marketing purposes. Although I think they did use some kind of a special um, method to extract the patchouli in this fragrance. So I think they were so proud of themselves for that. that that's probably why they called it patchouli. Um, even though I don't think it smells like a traditional patchouli. So um, anyway, what does it smell like? Uh, a lot of people talk about the grapefruit. And uh, perhaps there is grapefruit here. I don't really think grapefruit is really... Uh, the prime player here. I would say definitely the star anise and the geranium. Now the star anise is going to give it an herbal licorice kind of a vibe and the geranium is going to give it an herbal mintiness. So at the beginning uh, you do get the star anise and the uh, geranium kind of duking it out there at the beginning. A little bit of sweetness perhaps from the benzoin and it just kind of has like this uh, almost like a cough drop or a very herbal medicinal kind of a feel to it. I know my stepdaughter said it reminded her of one of those body rubs. I guess she was probably thinking along the lines of a Vicks Vapor Rub or Ben Gay. And I can kind of see what she's talking about. It kind of has like this old man herbalness, like if you went to your grandfather's house and he uh, just got done rubbing himself down uh, after having a bout of uh, rheumatoid arthritis or something. You know, it smells like something that may, may have been made back in the 30s or 40s, back when uh, maybe the herbal um, ointments and tinctures were more popular. <laughs> but um, as it dries down, I think the star anise does calm down a bit, and more of that geranium comes out. And it takes on more of like a Cartier Roaster smell. And I actually do like the dry down better than the opening, I think. Uh, it seems to me that the star anise and the geranium together do make it a little bit too overpowering in the herbal department. It's kind of like if you took uh, the star anise of Yves Saint Laurent's Reeve Gauche and you combine that with uh, the herbal mintiness of Cartier Roadster. Kind of like that. So uh, this one, actually as I've worn it now for the third time, I'm starting to come around to it a little bit. Still, it's probably not something that's going to go on my to buy list. Um, I would say Barely wearable, but not really something that I would personally buy. Uh, even though a lot of people are seeming to like this one for some reason. So let me get into some scores here. The smell, I'll give it five and a half out of ten. You know, originally when I smelled it, I probably would have given it three and a half. But I'm liking it more, but not a whole lot more. Projection longevity. Now this is where I'm a little bit surprised here. I can smell this on myself for about six to eight hours. Um, some people say it doesn't last. Now, it's not overpowering or anything, but it, for some reason, I think that geranium really cuts the air. So, um, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10, even though I've never gotten any compliments or complaints about the fragrance itself. Versatility, another tough one. Um, uh, like an herbal, anytime you would choose an herbal fragrance, maybe the spring or whatever. But uh, I'll give it 5 out of 10. Certainly not something I would think would be a great date fragrance or anything. Possibly daily wear if you're really into like the herbal stuff. Uniqueness, I'll give it 7 out of 10. Probably have to say, you know, it does start to remind me of Roadster as it dries down. In the opening, is very strange, and that's where most of its uniqueness is going to lie. Price point, typical for Atelier, 5 out of 10. Overall, 5.5 out of 10. An interesting herbal fragrance, not really something that I'm too excited about. Um, if I like Star Anise, I'm going to grab uh, True Star by uh, Tommy Hilfiger, uh, Yves Saint Laurent's... Uh, Rob Gauche. If I want mint, I'm going to go with Cartier's lineup, um, Roaster, Roaster Sport. 
This one, it just tries to basically give you best, best of both worlds, and it kind of falls short in my opinion. So uh, that's my thoughts, 5.5 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys later.